the floor is super duper high with Marvin Harrison Jr. and the ceiling is an atrium. I don't I don't even know that <laughs> it exists. You, you have a kid here who had a Hall of Fame wide receiver personal tutor from birth. And people keep in mind, Marvin Harrison Sr. had to teach himself all the, the, the little things about the wide receiver position, the, the, the perfect release off the line every single time, uh, being the route running technician, the, the hands, he couldn't drop any balls because he entered the NFL out of Syracuse at 175 pounds. He did not have the physical measurables. So the only path for Marvin Harrison Sr. to greatness was be becoming awesome at the craft of being a wide receiver. He just so happened to have a son who got all the genetics that he could only dream about in, in Marvin Jr. 6'3 and a quarter, 209 pounds, freak of an athlete. Last couple of years in the Big Ten, contextually extremely impressive. Marvin Harrison Jr. goes to the school that has the most stacked receiving core that we see every single year. Uh, you know, like they send the first round receivers there every single time. Mm -hmm. As a true freshman, didn't play as much. But as a true sophomore, he shoved in through the, the receiving court with Jackson Smith and Jigba um, and Emeka Egbuka. And all of a sudden, Marvin Harrison Jr. was the guy that the opposing defenses were most afraid of. I mentioned earlier, uh, last two seasons, Marvin Harrison Jr., 100th percentile in receiving grade against man single man coverage. That's why you saw defensive coordinators so often throwing double teams at him. This started probably midway through a sophomore season or a little bit later on in there. This season, he got a steady dose of it. Last year, uh, they switched from C.J. Stroud to Kyle McCord. So now you can't say, oh, it's just because he had a good quarterback as well. He shoved through this super-duper crowded wide receiver room, was a star right away, kept being a star even when they were throwing all the different coverage stuff at him. And then this year, they go from C.J. Stroud to Kyle McCord, who was so bad behind center. They banished him to Syracuse in the transfer portal after the season was done. Uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. last year, 33% target rate. That went to 40% when it was in man coverage. When Kyle McCord denoted man coverage, he was looking at, at Marvin Harrison Jr. every single time. Last thing I'll say, j just to show people how impressive Marvin Harrison Jr. was in college, Matt Harmon, a guy whose work I, I really respect, the, the reception perception guy, because he watches the games, charts them out, the route, the, the different uh, covers look they got, different stuff like that. In the time that he has been charting college receivers coming into the NFL, he has never charted a receiver who has doubled more often than Marvin Harrison Jr. And of, of the group that was doubled even half as often as he was on a per snap basis, Marvin Harrison Jr. had the best success rate of any of those guys against double coverage. It is really difficult for the defense to decide exactly, like, are, are we just going to toss two guys at him and now everyone else gets facing? Or are we going to, the, the way that I put it, put someone in a stake suit and kick them into the shark tank and leave them in single man coverage against Marvin Harrison Jr.? <laughs> There's an image for you. Steak Debro, suit. Yeah, oh, that's what they're going to wear. That. That's what Thor's wearing on tomorrow night for night two. He's wearing the steak suit. Uh, Debro, uh, the Marvin Harrison Jr. landing spot and your fantasy analysis, where does this put him in terms of rank? Can he be a wide receiver one as early as rookie season? Yeah, we talked about this. Uh, people want to pull this up on YouTube while you're watching the NFL draft and you're listening to this. Uh, we talked about landing spots, I think, two weeks ago. And I said, this this is the, the landing spot you want for Marvin Harrison Jr. If you look at the Cardinals, last year they threw the ball 555 times, even ballparking them. And that was with a bottom seven neutral passing rate. Even ballparking 550 passing attempts. If we think Marvin Harrison Jr. is that guy, 25%, 27% target share. We're talking about a rookie wide receiver that could legit be top 12 amongst all wide receivers in raw target volume in his rookie season. When my ranks are updated by Monday on FantasyPros.com, he will be ranked as a wide receiver one right now in redraft there ranks. There we go. Yeah, love to see it.